very warm welcome driver ratings for the Austrian Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their weekend. And Max absolutely terrorised the opposition as he dominates the Austrian Grand Prix. As usual, we give a detailed description of our rating. We had Wang Yujo, Roy Nisani and Callum Eilat debutise in practice one and they all did a solid job. To be fair. Now we're going to jump into the 20 Formula 1 drivers who give us entertainment every Sunday. George Russell. Now, 10. Again, 10. Q3 for the first time. On merit. He was ahead of an Aston and McLaren. Um, yeah, Ferraris. Huge statement to Mercedes. I expect big news happening regarding George Russell come Mercedes, uh, Silverstone, sorry. Um, yeah, will we finally see him announced? Yeah, he was the star of qualifying. He qualified ninth, but he got boosted to P8 with Sebastian's penalty. And then in the race, he had an amazing battle with Fernando Alonso, and he just missed out on the point again, P11. And he has gone to see the stewards. Now, as I record this, we do have eight drivers visiting the stewards about yellow flag infringements when Kimi Raikkonen and Vettel went off. So as I record this, we've not been given the penalties yet. Eight drivers. So yeah, um, I think it was um, Sainz, Perez, Ricardo, Leclerc, Gasly, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Mazepin. Interesting to see what happens there, but I, we're going to go now, because as I record this. So yeah, George Russell, 10. Nicholas Latifi, 1. P18 in quality. Horrible. I mean, he just gets outshined every week by George. I mean, he's only in the sport because of his sponsor, Lavazza. Not good enough. Should lose his seat. Simple. Uh, finished P15 in the race, but he only finished that high because of Seb and... Kimi Kaliden. Sergio Perez, 7. He qualifies P3. On lap 1, tried to go around the outside and Norris got basically pushed wide in the gravel. Lost all the positions. But the good thing about Perez is he's performing um, and he's got that seat guaranteed for 22. Yeah, he was pushed off by Norris, but then he did it twice to Charles Leclerc. So... Once the stewards gave one penalty, they had to do it every time to be consistent. So yeah, uh, race was very difficult once he went through the gravel and he finished P6 with the penalty. It was P5, but with the penalties, had to drop to 6. Max, 10. I mean, 10. He absolutely battered the field. He led every single lap, pole position, uh, fastest lap championship leader extends his championship lead the crowd was amazing for him i mean it it's just immaculate performance and not much more to say really class of one juvenazzi five now a big problem with juvenazzi is he's out qualifying kimmy but in the races he's he's not as good p15 quality beats kimmy again on saturday p14 in the race and yeah, Saturday strong, Sunday is a bit of a weakness. And then we get on to Kimi Raikkonen, five. And Raikkonen's weakness is qualifying. He's strong in the race. And he was actually close to the points, but obviously had that coming together with Vettel. And that was Kimi Raikkonen's fault, in my view. Lewis Hamilton, five. Awful. Absolutely awful. I mean, he qualified fourth and he finished fourth. A horrible weekend for the seven-time champion. Practice two, he was fastest. But yeah, a horrible weekend. More points lost. Outshined by Lando Norris in the McLaren. He did sign a new contract coming into the weekend. That's the only positive. A terrible race and has to win at Silverstone. No excuses. Otherwise, the title's going to be gone. Uh, yeah, and he damaged a car. Again, he wants to say, I don't know how it got the damage, but clearly that was driver error to damage the car in the first place. 
He did show great sportsmanship on the radio to Lando Norris, calling him a great driver. Valtteri Bottas, 8. P5 in qualifying, P2 in the race. A strong performance by Bottas, and he needed that result. And he beat Lewis, in my opinion, fair and square. Lewis damaged the car, Bottas didn't. And he, he needed that, Valtteri. Needs to win a race, though. Really needs to win a race. I think there's big news coming at Silverstone regarding Russell and Bottas. Carlos Sainz, 9. Qualified 11th, up to 10th with Sebastian's penalty. And then he gambled on the hard tyre. And it really did work. And yeah, he benefits massively. Charles Leclerc let him through and then Perez got a penalty. And he finishes P5. Great strategy. Charles Leclerc, 7. Yeah, he played the team game. He got pushed off the track twice by Perez. Was not happy. A very angry man. And finished P8. Good points for the team, but yeah, very forceful by uh, Perez. Lando Norris, 10. Uh, wow, big big spin in practice at Turn 1. But wow, he qualified P2, exceptional, ahead of the Mercedes. And his record at Austria is sensational. Driver of the season. Great move on Lewis in the race. Third podium in 2021. Um, Imola, Monaco and Austria just and he, he's actually P3 on merit it's fantastic but he should have been second really without that penalty Ricardo 7 uh, 0 to hero awful qualifying but a great fight back in the race and he needs that confidence boost um, yeah P7 in the race yeah, he just needs to enjoy it again. He looks lost. Lost on a Saturday, but was decent in the race. Gasly, 7. Great qualifying, P6. And then he finished P9 in the race. The strategy didn't really work. And, yeah, but more points for Gasly. Yuki Sonoda, 6. Now, I was going to give Yuki a really high mark because he actually had a great weekend. He was ahead of Gasly in the practices. Uh, He was actually performing. Uh, He qualified 7th, but in the race, he shows that he's a rookie. Coming into the pits twice, and he exceeded the white line and got two five-second penalties. I mean, it's inexcusable. An F3 driver does that, you're having a go at them. Mazepin, 0. Block Kimi, block Lewis, practice, last all weekends. He's got a heavier car than Mick, but... He's just out of his depth. Not good enough. Schumacher, five. Beat Mazepin all weekends. Doing the best he can. Yeah, uh, the Haas car's dreadful. Sebastian Vettel, another five. He qualified P8, an exceptional qualifying, but blocked Fernando Alonso, so he drops to P11. And then right at the end of the race, had that contact with Kimi. Was close to the points, not his fault. Ends up finishing 17th. Lance Stroll. Again, I will give him five. He had a few spins in practice. Uh, P10 quality. Boosted up with Seb's penalty. P9. And then P13 in the race. Yeah, And he got a penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Fernando Alonso, eight. Now, I do give him eight. I thought he was really strong this weekend. If he didn't get blocked by Vettel... I believe he would have qualified like 6th, 7th. So that massively hampered his race. But he did score a point. And he had that amazing battle with George Russell. Now we all know Fernando Alonso has been singing the praises of George Russell. Future champion, swapping helmets at Monaco. George's time will come. Yeah. But getting blocked in qualifying destroyed Alonso's weekend. But he finished 10th. He was outstanding, Alonso. He would have been a lot higher. Esteban Ocon, zero. P17 in quality, awful. Since he signed that new three-year extension, he has been absolutely terrible. He had two horrific Austrian Grand Prix and back-to-back zeros on driver ratings. So let's see, we've covered everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. 
There we have it, driver ratings for the Austrian Grand Prix. We now have a week off. Two weeks' time, we go to the home of British motorsport, Silverstone. Can't wait for that Grand Prix. And we will have the different weekends regarding the sprint races. Again, the support's been insane. We did practices. We tried something different in qualifying as we did a live reaction. Just consistent people on the channel enjoying the Formula 1 videos. And that's one thing that I do say. My knowledge of Formula 1 has always been top. So I hope that comes through. But yeah, comment down below. As usual, driver ratings causes opinion. These are my ratings. Comment down below. We'll always reply. Always allow opinion and um, for people to express their thoughts. So yeah. I've got a lot of standard fives, few sevens. We've got a couple of tens, Max, Russell, Norris. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're pretty fair. I wanted, I wanted to give Sonoda higher than six, to be honest. I, I feel that. But you can't make that same mistake twice coming in the pits. That is inexcusable. Maybe Perez, seven, four. But the stewards got like a lot of criticism for not being consistent. Now, I want to see racing. As soon as they gave Norris a penalty, they had to do it with Sergio Perez to be consistent. Now, I don't agree with it. I thought the worst one was Perez, the second one, on Leclerc, because Leclerc was actually alongside him. Um, yeah. And obviously, I have recorded this now. We don't know what's going to happen with them eight drivers who, when Kimi and Seb went off, there's double yellows. That means be prepared to stop. So we don't know what's going to happen there. The result could change. Fernando Alonso could benefit if there's big penalties, but yeah, we're recording it now. Thanks for the support during the Austrian weekend. Comment down below. We'll always reply. Adios. Max Dominant. Could he be champion in 21?